Hundreds of refugees, many fleeing Syria, arriving in Germany late yesterday and early today. Police had been allowing travel on international <coughs> rail routes. It turns out, though, today it seems Hungarian authorities are now stopping all trains from leaving Budapest's main train terminal in an effort to prevent migrants from using it to leave for Austria and Germany. Chancellor Angela Merkel yesterday called for EU states to take a united stance on the migration crisis. Our Hans Nichols is in Berlin. Hans, are we talking about a few hundred people arriving in Berlin is it, is it making an impression in the city it's making an impression in the city in Berlin and Munich is where everyone came in last night there are about five trains coming in they started from the Hungarian border they went straight through Austria transit company uh, countries they want to arrive in Germany because there's a perception that their jobs here give you a sense from in, in Berlin how acute the crisis is they're talking about an additional 400 classes for uh, children of refugee families there's a great line earlier today that I think really captured this and it is a question of do you want the discussions on do you build more tents or build more schools and what Germany's talking about is building more schools to have a longer term integration process. There, there, there's long been a history of uh, refugees fleeing to Europe and, and there being you know yeah. awful problems with you know in France outside Paris there were huge camps for a long time during the, the Iraq war and so forth. What will Germany do? Will it be able to handle this amount of migrants and, and what about the other countries? Well, Germany won't be able to handle the migrants if all the projections bear out. What they're talking about now is for 2015 having, having about 800,000 800, asylum applications here. Take a look at a map that I think is up for 2014. This shows you just how overwhelmed Germany right. has been. Now, Sweden <clears throat> has been uh, bringing a lot in too, but Germany has really been uh, taking the most of these. You take a look at for this is asylum applications for the first part of this year. Germany's way out ahead. So this is where they want to come. Hans, why is this happening now? I mean, this has been around for years and years, and yeah. frankly, I'd go back to the Turks taking over Budapest in the 1540, uh, 1550 area. Yeah. Why now? It seems like there was a tipping point in terms of Syria refugees coming in, and at the same time, this protocol called Dublin II, this is the treaty, and the way things should work is that when refugees arrive on Europe's borders, when they, when they do arrive, they should be immediately sort of processed. That hasn't been happening. What there's been happening is a lot of transit going back <clears> and forth. <throat> the system is broken. Merkel's trying to fix it. She didn't really get much support from Mr. Rajoy earlier today. It's a challenging situation. Guys. Okay. Hans, thank you so much. Somehow I think this topic will not go away. Hans Nichols in Berlin.